Hi there, my name is Håkan and I work as a pack developer at Lundhags. I've been with Lundhags for I think over 12 years totally. And uh, one of my main interests is uh, of course trekking and often combined with fly fishing. So I spend lots of days out in the wild, both winter and summer. So one of the big concerns when choosing a backpack is uh, the size. And uh, we at Lundogs have uh, a big range of backpacks reaching from 120 liter and down to 10 liter. And of course you choose the size depending on your activity, depending on the uh, how long you will stay out, depending on what kind of equipment you want to bring out, what kind of food, is it, do you have bulky equipment, do you have uh, lightweight packable equipment to bring with you. So we feel there is uh, inconsistency among brands in how to communicate and how to measure the backpacks. We know that some brands measure only the main compartment. We know that some brands measure the main compartment, including all elasticated pockets and all non-elastic pockets. Uh, so how can we do this? Well, we follow an industry standard and we want to show you how we use this industry standard to measure our bags in, uh, in Lundogs. So in a quest for transparency, uh, we want to show you how we do this through a few easy steps. And we know that this is difficult for you to do at home, uh, but we have, the, we have invested in this uh, industry tested equipment to really stay true to size in, in our range of backpacks. So how do we at Lundhags measure the pack volumes? Well, we follow the industry standard. We are using small non-compressible balls in the size of 20 millimeter. These fill every small corner and space in a backpack. And we fill it to a normal packed level. And then we empty them in a cylinder that is measured in liter and we can easily read the size of the backpack. So what's our strategy and, and philosophy when it comes to measuring packs? Well, of course, we fill the whole main uh, compartment. And then we also include, if we have a solid side pocket, for example, non-elastic, we also include that in the total weight. But we do not include flat elasticated pockets. So what we simply do is that we fill the backpack with these balls. So we never fill more than you can easily roll at least two laps. So now this is filled to its uh, maximum normal um, size. It fills the whole cylinder and then we have a, a lid on top. Packing it like that, then you can easily read that this is a little bit more than 45 actually. So it's actually 46, 47 liters in size. So it's on the right, the right side of what we communicate. So by doing this, you can easily compare the actual weight, the true weight and the true size and compare one backpack to another. So, by uh, being transparent here, we think and hope that you have a better judgment when entering the market and choosing the right sized backpack. Thanks for us!